Look who we've bumped into at Chuck's. This is Bob and Marlene Parker, long-term hot rodders from New Zealand. Bob, what are you doing here at Chuck's today? Uh, just come to check out a mate of mine's car that's just arrived from the States. A brand new Camaro. Yep, and um, where does he buy that from? Uh, California. California? Yep. Do you do any miles in it over there? I believe he's done about, around about a thousand miles over there in it. Cool. So uh, tell me what you're doing with yourself these days. Uh, not a lot. We've got a house and we've been playing around there. We've got a caravan now and we do that a lot. That's our thing now. I don't have a car. I keep looking on the net and getting told not to be so stupid. <laughs> but that won't stop. Any I'll chance of you um, looking up another 52 Chevy? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's there but uh, we'll see what happens. Just for reader's sake, Bob had a 52 Chevy four-door sedan with a 303 Olds in it, 350 Olds and a hydro, and it ran what times at the quarter? Best quarter was 15.2. And was that with you driving or Marlene? Marlene. Marlene's the hot shoe. <laughs> and what about the trans in that car? That was a bit unusual, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a single coupling hydromatic. Four-speed automatic? Yep. Yep. And that was a transmission in America that uh, didn't require a scatter shield. Okay. Mm. And where's that car today? Uh, it's in Wangarei somewhere. It's been put back to original condition. What, back to the original Stove Bolt 6? Yep. What a shame. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the Ford rear. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether he pulled that out or not. But uh, no, it's, it's somewhere in Wangarei. I've tried to track it down, but he let the registration lapse, so... Right. I don't know where, yeah, I know it's in Wangarei, that's all I know. So there could be another Sayonara in the future? Well. <laughs> Marlene, anything yeah, to could say? Could be on the radar. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. good to see that you uh, stayed in touch with hot rodding friends and hot rodding over the years. How many years has it been now? Um, 20. Twenty. Oh, longer than that, we've been married for 50. Oh, oh. you didn't have to tell them all that. <laughs> And Bob was once the past president of the New Zealand Hot Rod Association. What year would that have been? Uh, about 78. Yeah. Around about 78. Yeah, for how and many years? I wasn't years? the president, I was the secretary. Secretary, beg your pardon. There you no, go. I'm president of my club, though. West, West Auckland, Auckland Street, Street Rods. Yep. You were a member. I was too, yeah. That yep. was one of the preeminent clubs in the day. Yep. We had I was, a, I'm a life member of that too, but uh, sadly it no longer exists. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now you're in retirement mode, you've got your own little house and just yeah. ticking around, travelling and yeah, checking up on friends. Yeah, we and we just, um, yeah, just taking it easy. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Good life after hot rowing. Well, it's great to catch up with you today and um, we'll get this up on the web and we'll catch you again somewhere around the track. Yeah, okay. All right, great. thanks Bob well, and Marlene. Nice to meet you too, Paul. Yeah. Okay, mate. Okay. Good one.